As I sit here today, I reflect on yesterday's Sunday Times, the 8th of December, which had an article uh, about the housing boom across the country, but absolutely and very particularly about London. And the article talked about up to £50 billion pounds worth of investment taking place in developments primarily aimed at the rich and overseas clients. What the article didn't do was take it on to the logical consequence of the ripple effect of the concentration of house ownership in overseas hands in the, in the capital city. And the ripple effect was really rammed home to me this morning when one of our homeless people has got a job earning about £25,000 a year, which in itself is absolutely excellent. We then negotiated with the local housing association access to a scheme they have for affordable rents for those over £25,000 a year. And what happened was he analysed his finances and at the end he realised he wouldn't be able to make it all stack up. And what this is illustrating is that yet again the affordable rents in London are not affordable for many earning salaries under £30,000. I have in the past drawn reference to the fact that you need 30 odd thousand pounds to be able to live in London and have an affordable rent. But it actually, it is becoming more difficult as each month goes by. So I read an article in the Sunday Times which points to 50 billion pounds worth of investment in high end flats in the next 10 years. But the reality is what happened today with one of my residents who cannot afford the only way out of Anchor House because he's earning £25,000. We as a society have got a major conundrum now about affordable housing for those earning between fifteen and £30,000 a year.